came in this morning. It was a little cool because it was breezy. Yeah. And then I went out around lunchtime and I was like, holy cow, broke out. it is warm out. Made a big difference. We got into the 50s in a lot of spots and, and we were, yesterday, you remember how it was a little like, I think we can pull off Sunday afternoon? It, it was, I thought it was, was great. Right. It was really nice. It was in the mid 50s. Yeah. Um, so now, that was a good part. Now we've got a, a little bit of rain here coming this week, just intervals of rain off and on. We'll, we'll nail down the timing here. We got officially to 49 in Portland, 52 in Bangor, 53 in Augusta. We were aided by, and I may never say the sentence again in my life, a backdoor cold front. It helped us. It came in and kind of scoured out some of that low level moisture and we were able to get into some sun, which this time of the year makes a big difference. Clouds came back on shore on the back end of that, but we got a really nice middle of the day. Uh, especially. You can see the cloud cover overdone on the models right now because they did not see that backdoor cold front. Eventually though we do all cloud up tonight. Temperatures uniformly in the mid 30s to upper 30s and tomorrow we start off cool kind of raw and then the showers come in from southwest to northeast late morning through the middle of the day. That turns into a more consistent rain with a couple of downpours through the afternoon into the evening. This is an all rain event in this situation probably under an inch but the ground is quite saturated already so it's going to add to that mud season vibe that we have going on right now. Wednesday, we're going to try to squeeze out a little bit of a window to warm up into the mid 50s. Maybe a bit better. It depends on the speed of this cold front back here. So we're holding in the warm sector here, waiting to pop into the 50s, and then the cold front comes through. The timing of this front will determine how warm we can get on Wednesday, middle of the day, before the front comes through in the afternoon with, again, rain initially. Now, there may be some snow on the back side of this late Wednesday night into Thursday morning in the mountains and northern Maine. So we'll keep an eye on how much cold air is available there. I think the vast majority of us here are looking at rain on Wednesday night in through Thursday as the storm continues to hang around. And it could be some really quite heavy downpours during the day on Thursday. And again, we'll watch northern Maine to see if they can eke out some snow. Next storm after that, Sunday night into Monday. This is a bigger storm. It, it feels to me like a bit of an inside runner again. So maybe the mountains can eke some snow out of this on Saturday night into Sunday. But if that low sits where it is forecast to here, we'll see a lot of rain along the coast and inland throughout the day on Sunday, which does not look like an overly pleasant day. So run this through this entire week. How much rain total? A lot, three and a half, maybe four inches of rain. Ground's already saturated. Gets a little bit windy here on Sunday. I don't think it's gonna cause huge, huge problems, but it is worth noting that we have a king tide on Sunday during the day. King tide is one of the highest tides of the year by definition, so we'll have to watch the coastal locations there. All we can hope from in this whole mess here is that su these Thursday, Thursday and Sunday can be snow in the mountains. I mean, that's I don't see this being a widespread snow event on either of these, but if we can get some snow in the mountains on those that would really help because help yeah. I was just out there and it's fun and I love the spring skiing, but it's early March yeah. and it's it's tough. It's tough. So we'll see what we can get. But in the meantime, along the coast, I mean, that's a lot of rain. Yeah. No. Sub pumps will be doing their thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can already actually my sub pump is an open one. I can see the water level it hasn't triggered the float switch, but like it's it's, it's there. there. It's waiting. Yeah. 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 All right, Keith. Thank you.